Uncensored. All right, it's time for that second half of the Factor Uncensored. Now, strap yourselves in. We're kicking off the second half of the Factor Uncensored. Now, what's considered to be an uncomfortable subject? Menstruation products or period products, like when women have their periods. Why a bill is under consideration for making those items available in the girls' and boys' restrooms of charter schools in Minnesota. Democratic Representative Sandra Feast is fighting for this very big change. Let's bring in our guests, Representative Ron Reynolds and Conservative Angela Box. So they want to take those products mm -hmm. and put them in. <laughs> like the way you described it. Yes. <laughs> People even have time to, mm -hmm. it's like, mm -hmm. it's tough to even say those products. But anyway, you guys know what's going on. Yes. So if there needs to be period products or menstruation uh -huh. products in the boys' bathroom, elementary, middle school, depending mm -hmm. on when, when the girls get there, situation mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't even say you can't even it's so <laughs> stupid look the biggest horror of the transgender movement is the promotion of mental illness over objective reality you cannot choose your own gender period end of story and this is what conservatives are talking about when we're talking about groomers and grooming this is the grooming of children to think that you can choose your own gender which is causing a massive uptick in trans youth suicides by the way and the idea that kids can't you know a child under 18 can't vote can't get a tattoo uh, can't join the military um, can't smoke but somehow we're gonna have them insert puberty blockers and cross sex hormones and uh, mutilate their genitals and chop off their breasts it is sick it is demonic and that is what the left has come to and I I am very curious to hear how you're going to defend this uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> here, here's, here's the thing <laughs> She's, Angela is demonstrating that Republicans are out of touch <laughs> with the LGBTQ community. There is a growing number of transgender children, and this Democratic representative, which I'll admit, I wouldn't file the legislation, but I would vote for it. <laughs> I understand the reason why she filed it. There are so many transgender children that need to have their uh, identity protected. In other words, these young men who are these women who are now uh, have, have been making themselves to be boys, they have a need for these products. This representative was saying that, hey, we don't want to further have a stigma. There are many gender neutral bathrooms now. We don't want to be able to delineate between the genders because there are a growing number of, of transgender children. So this is to protect them. This is to give them dignity. And, and contrary to what Angela said, the reason why there's an uptick in suicide is because they're not supported. That's, that's there's insane. There's a stigma attached to it. But before right, we get uh, to that, Angela, okay. hold on. So Ron, for those who are parents out there, what do you say to those who say, now I have to explain all of this to my little boy who may be in a restroom with a transgender and what is this tampon for? Why can't I have it, mommy or daddy? Well, what does I, that mean? I, I think well, it's you a, can. Well, I think it's a responsible parent would be able to have that conversation with the children. It's better than to get it on the streets. In other words, sex ed. It's better when, children, when the parents talk to the kids about sex than get it in the streets. So I think it's a responsible parent. I have kids. I'm having those kind of conversations now because it's happening in public schools. Mm -hmm. This is not a this is not a debate on sex ed. This is a debate on pushing a literally insane ideology onto children. Now, if grown ass adults want to mutilate their bodies and shove hormones, cross sex hormones, into their bodies the rest of their lives, that is their choice. This should not be done with children. That is the problem that parents and and people, just regular citizens like me, have a massive problem with the radical left. They have gone so far insane that you're sitting here and defending putting tampons in a boy's bathroom. And let's not even forget about this. This girl, and she is a girl, she could be sexually assaulted. And if she is, guess who's on the hook for that? The school. Oh, but the school said she could use the bathroom, so they're off the hook. Do you see? And the way you had to convolute yourself to justify your response was Democrats astonishing. Democrats are a but big really quick, party when do that you protects... Think is the right age for a child 
to decide that they may want to be the other sex or when they are binary when they are 18 years old and they want to be a grown adult doing it should not be in the schools and t parents have seen what the last two years brought when they got to see the zoom calls these radicalized teachers that are inserting sexualized language into literally everything pride everything and this and that and it's it's hip to be trans now it's disgusting Republicans are out of touch there's an assault on the LGBT it's community. not true love is love and wrong is wrong and Republicans are out of touch with expanding uh, and protecting human dignity for all children. Biological all right. reality trumps mental illness. And welcome back to The Factor on Censored, a closer look at high school AP curriculums in Florida. Those classes will not, will not have African-American study classes. Now, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis blocked the courses across the entire state. Let's talk about it with Representative Ron Reynolds and conservative Angela Box. So, Ron, your thoughts about Governor DeSantis blocking African-American studies. Isaiah, I'm going to give it to you straight. It's not lost on me that today is Confederate Heroes Day in Texas. This is another example of some white supremacist BS nonsense that they don't want to... He's talking quote, that I want to promote the wokeness. That, that is his words. In other words, he doesn't, he believes that uh, critical race theory nonsense, that white people would feel guilty by learning about the actual history that African Americans endured in this country. Slavery is the original sin in this country. We just celebrate Dr. King's birthday and holiday. We've come a long way, but in order for children to continue to evolve and appreciate the disparities that still exist, they have to learn about the history. And this is Ron DeSantis' way of blocking it, etch a sketch, acting like it didn't happen. So I'm not quite clear on this. Is Ron DeSantis a white guy or Hispanic guy? Because his name says otherwise. Well, he, he goes by a white guy. But I don't know what he is, but I know he's a white supremacist. <laughs> that is what wow. he, and, he, and he's competing with Governor Abbott to see who can be the further MAGA man in this state, in the country, that is going to run for president if, if, if Trump, something happens to him. So my thing is, this is another uh, uh, white supremacist notion trying to erase actual history. It Bef happened, and we got to deal with it. Before you get started, do yeah. you know what his ethnicity is? I, I don't care. I'm no, sorry. No, I, I, didn't, didn't, I think he's... I mean, Cuban descent, perhaps. Okay, got it. I am so tired of this constant racializing of literally everything. Look, the reason... But for many people... Hang on a minute. It, wait, wait, hold on. Okay. For many people, it simply doesn't make sense okay. for a person of color to be so polarizing when it comes to people of color. Okay, so again, the person of color thing, I think is... Uh, Dr. King would be rolling in oh, his grave okay. with, this, with this kind of stuff. Got a correction okay. from my producer... DeSantis is Italian. Italian, okay. So reg Italian. Regular white. Yeah. Is and, that regular and, and, white? And <laughs> or is that, wait, wait. Is that regular let's white or what? Let's just call him real hot. Can we do that? Okay. So, um, your, look. Oh, that's French. Sorry. <laughs> so, this particular class was actually shut down because of misinformation, which last time I checked, I thought Democrats were against. Let's not kid ourselves, okay? Let's not be cute. This entire class was going to be about one thing. Woke, 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 woke. Whitey's bad. Whitey sucks. Whitey's racist. Whitey's white supremacist, 1619 Project, which is BS, critical race theory, which tells little kids that you're either going to be held back in life or you're either a victim or an oppressor, depending on your skin color. That is why this class was canceled. And until the left wants to come back to the, the sane way of thinking that is looking at people as individuals, not in racialized groups, this kind of nonsense is still going to happen. But the thing about it is, it gets Democrats elected. Because if you keep people separated and at each other's throats, they're not looking behind the curtain as to what these politicians are really up to. History is history, regardless of what Republicans want to revisionize. Slavery happened, discrimination happened, Jim Crow happened, voter suppression happened. All Ron by DeSantis Democrats. Ron DeSantis is trying to uh, appeal to the farthest right. These are the same people that believe that the election was stolen. These are the same people that stormed the Capitol on January 6th. This is wrong. Okay. I've talked to many academics. I've talked to many teachers in public schools. They said this is nonsense. And the fact that it happens in Texas and Florida is, a, is, is an assault to our history and what actually happened to African Americans in this country. Okay, history should be taught the good, bad, and the ugly. But what woke professors and 
the left is doing is serving up segregationist policies on a platter. We've got now uh, segregated dorms in colleges. We've got black only spaces. This is anathema to the phrase all men are created equal. And for what Dr. King gave his life to stop this constant racialization, this constant division of races, it is, it is terrible. And the fact that the Democrats are all for this says everything you need to know. Well, speaking about Dr. King, based on this, they wouldn't even be to teach about Dr. King not and true. Rosa That's Parks not true and Malcolm at all. X. I it happened in BS. Texas. They're banning books and KDISD. Uh, that's, that's happening that's right now. That's pornography and CRT no, no. based. CRT yes. is this. Yes. This is CRT. This okay. is what. No, critical race theory. No, this class. No. The, it, no. you read, read, the, read the. The curriculum that didn't get promoted because it was because labeled The reason why they're banning this is because of the notion that was passed, the wokeness, the CRT. That is the reason why they're banning this class. They're banning the class because the curriculum was labeled as misinformation. The 1619 Project is not historically accurate. Robin DeAngelo, a white woman I might add, has gotten very wealthy doing all kinds of seminars talking about critical race theory and how whitey is bad and poor black people can't ever get ahead. It is disgusting. Republicans it can't handle the truth. It takes away from an individual's worth and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of Democrats Isaiah, the real thing it. is they believe that this is indoctrinating young black kids to be liberals and it's wrong. No, it's all just right. woke nonsense. Out of time. Thank you.